well, I'm just going to be doing my job, but in a different area. And it may be in an area where controversy doesn't uh, come into it so much. You must create fear and crims, be they cuff crims, hard crims, they feared certain police officers. And I was one of those police officers. He was anointed by some of the senior detectives as being the next best thing. Now they were all spent as a dog's hind leg as well, which wasn't helpful. So he was inducted into that small club of very corrupt, very powerful coppers. And he just rose through the ranks. In 27 years, you wouldn't have come across one crooked cop. I have not personally come across one crooked cop. Lamfranchi walked directly towards me, and then when we got to, he got to about here, he kept walking into the lane and pulled this gun out from these very tight trousers. And as he was bringing it up, I realised this bloke's going to shoot me. So I reached behind for my gun, and because I didn't mess around, and I brought it up and I fired one shot. Did Warren try to take his gun that Saturday morning or Saturday lunchtime? Oh God, no. We had ten thousand dollars which we'd wrapped up into bundles with elastic bands right round. It was one big bundle. This is just cold, bare fact. Huckstep would later be murdered, her body found in a pond in Centennial Park. The shooting of undercover officer Mick Drury, the murder of hitman Mr Rent-A-Kill Chris Dal Flannery and the disappearance of a Crown witness, all crimes linked to Rogerson, but he was never convicted. Certain police headquarters were very disappointed when I wasn't uh, found guilty. The detective, a senior constable, had been standing at the kitchen sink of his Chatswood home shortly after six o'clock this evening when two shots were fired through the window. Roger, this is Warren Lamfranchi. Mr. Rogerson. Hello, Warren. $220,000 later in legals. That's why I'm back here straight away to earn a quid. Yeah. On the advice of my lawyer, I'm saying nothing of this point. Yeah.